We are learning more about a couple killed in Enfield. This was breaking news we first brought you last night. The granddaughter of one of the victims is now behind bars. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon is live for us right now. He's outside of court in Hartford with more on what police say happened and what the family is also telling us tonight. Christian. Hi there, yeah, Mark. Your police records state that 22-year-old Harley Sowles was found with blood all over her body inside that apartment in Enfield. Meanwhile, her grandma and the grandma's boyfriend were also there lying on the ground, bleeding, but they didn't make it. This is 72-year-old Mary Rose Riach and her boyfriend, 63-year-old James Samuel Bell. A couple the family tells us were enjoying their golden years until last night. Mary Rose's granddaughter, Harley Swoles, is now behind bars. Right now, she's charged with violating a protective order from July and could face upgraded charges related to the killings. With this defendant being the only party at the scene, uh, covered in blood, State believes it would have a very strong case for much more serious charges in this matter. Police say a neighbor called after hearing one of the victims asking for help. According to the arrest warrant, once police got on scene, they found Mary Rose lying on a pool of blood and James with a large laceration to the neck and stab wounds on his arms and back. The arrest warrant also revealed Swoles had wounds to both hands and were covered in blood as well. Swoles had blood all over her clothes and was showing no emotion at all when I first contacted her. She was later arrested, but for violating a protective order from back in July at the same residence. One of Swole's co-workers from Dunkin' Donuts feeling shocked tonight. And it's sad. It's super sad. I don't know how people can be that cruel. Danielle Morby says Swole's had been working at the Dunkin' she manages for about a month, but adds Harley was very private. Some people are just like that. They just come to do what they're supposed to do when they go home. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't open with their lives. Neighbors and co-workers are all feeling the surprise tonight. It's devastating. It's our, it's our community. We, you know, it's a shame that you know, something like this happened. In our community. As for the family, they are in mourning. In a statement, Mary Rose's son tells us they love spending time with family, beach trips, and going camping. They had the biggest hearts of anyone I've ever known, and they did not deserve this. And Souls is being held on a million dollar bond. She's also being placed on a mental health watch. And there are also no more suspects, and Souls has not confessed to this crime, but she could be facing more charges. We're live in Hartford tonight. Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.